Hi, I'm Cliff Ira, and I race the Honda Civic Del Sol in F production. And today we're here to share a few tips from our racing program that can hopefully help you. Now, we've had some success with the Civic Del Sol, and I've also raced an Acura Integra in STL. The first thing I want to share is know your limitations. And I used to race an IT Acura Integra in an ITS class in the Southeast, and I built all my own engines. And I knew as I wanted to step up from ITS to STL that I needed a new engine program. It wasn't in my wheelhouse to build those really nice race engines. And so I stepped up my, my engine program in the Acura. For the Del Sol, we went next level on everything and that was also out of my wheelhouse so the Acura I built on my own in my garage this one I took to a builder and built it from the ground up had it baked and had it powder coated and everything to get the chassis right and we spent a lot of time making sure everything was next level and I needed some help to do that This is a, you know, a Del Sol that's an F production that doesn't have any aero. But when I had the STL car, we were able to run a splitter, an under tray, and a wing on the car. As I moved up into STL, I bought an under tray and a splitter online, stuck it on the car, went out for a test today thinking I was gonna have all this front grip and absolutely unsettled the car, spun out on my second lap. So, was able to ask for help. Fortunately, I live in, in Kansas near Jesse Prather. Worked with him in developing the arrow in the car, and that's something that was not in my wheelhouse. So don't be afraid to ask for help when developing your car. Along the same lines as the arrow uh, is the suspension. And, and that's another example where we spent a lot of time developing the suspension on the Acura Integra. And so I thought it's a similar suspension as the Del Sol that we could take the Acura package, put it on the Del Sol, and we would be just ready to go. We did that basically when we built this car and took it out on the track and realized it was totally undrivable. It's a different wheelbase, it's a different center of gravity, and once again, a little bit out of my wheelhouse. So I had to reach out for help in understanding how to tune the car, make the changes necessary to get the car to be more compliant. You know, something else that's really important to our racing program is to show up to the track prepared and ready to race. Roll off the trailer, wheels are torqued, we're ready to go. And you know, in some cases that doesn't always work, but you don't want to be at the track showing up working on your car. At least we try not to as much as we can. It's worth the runoffs right now, when we get to the runoffs, to not try anything new. We, we use everything that's worked for us during the year that's got us here. And so we're not really typically trying to try anything new while we're here at the runoffs. We get the testing done during the year. Thanks for letting me share a few things that have worked uh, for our race program. And just know that there are a lot of resources, you know, at the track and, and outside of the track that can help you go faster and, and be successful. So get out there and have some fun.